Foster is standing by live. It was sure hot there, Brooke. It was a little too warm yesterday around western Montana. We had temperatures closing in on that 80 degree mark near record highs recorded yesterday uh, with that temperature of 77 in Missoula. Right now, we're sitting in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. 54 in Bozeman, beast at 35. We're right around 50 in Missoula and Kalispell. Northwest Montana, wind is going to be your big weather story today. Along and south of Interstate 90, wind and a little bit of rainfall. Now, as far as rain gear, I think it's really just southwest Montana that needs to pack it throughout the day today. Although we do have a couple of isolated showers popping up this morning in the Bitterroot Valley. Future Tracker really just shows the showers impacting southwest Montana as we head throughout the day today. A portion of uh, Beaverhead, Madison, and Gallatin County expecting some wet weather. So just after lunchtime, right around 1.30, we've got showers along I-15 and Interstate 90 over Homestake Pass to Pipestone, seeing a couple of showers. And then as we head into the afternoon, could have a couple of isolated thunderstorms. Just like the past couple of days, we're not expecting these to be severe thunderstorms, but they will be capable of producing some gusty wind along with a little bit of rainfall. Notice 6 o'clock today, you're driving home in some sunshine for Missoula and the Bitterroot Valley and up towards Kalispell, but two hands on the wheel as we expect some windy conditions. Gusts today up to around 30, maybe even 35 miles per hour out on Flathead Lake. Lake Wind Advisory could see wave heights of around 1 to 2 feet out on Flathead Lake. We are tracking a cold front, lowering snow levels, and a change over to all snowfall. Rocky Mountain Front, Southern Beaverhead, Madison, and Gallatin County under winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings. And we're going to see that snow accumulate. In fact, the mountains around Big Sky, 5 to 15. Up towards the Marias Pass, could see two or three inches of snowfall. Even Bozeman could see a slushy accumulation of one to four inches. So make sure you stay alert to changing weather conditions because Tuesday night into your Wednesday, that's when we could have some widespread travel impacts from that snow. And of course, the cold settling in behind that front. We're tracking overnight low temperatures for the middle and end of the week, dropping into the teens and 20s. Here's a look at today's forecast. We'll see your highs in the 60s. A little typo there for you in Thompson Falls. Should be right around uh, 60 degrees today. We'll be at 61 in Hamilton uh, through the Bitterroot Valley. Gusty wind, isolated shower threat in the Bitterroot Valley. More so, though, down around southwest Montana. Area-wide, winds gusting up to 30. Only advisory we have pertaining to the wind is out on Flathead Lake. Tonight, low temperatures dropping back into the 30s. We're down to 36 degrees tonight in Hamilton, 37 in Polson, 32 in Anaconda. And those temperatures are going to continue to drop for us as we head through the middle of the work week. So look at your high temperatures below normal. Look at your low temperatures. They're going to be below normal and well below the freezing mark. We're dropping into the 20s as we head through the middle to end of the work week. Daytime highs and overnight lows will be slow to rebound, but we're back to normal and in the 50s this weekend, mid-60s next week. For Missoula, your 10-day forecast. Overnight low temperatures for us Tuesday night dropping into the upper 20s. We could see a wintry mix of rain and snow early Wednesday. Temperatures will stay in the 40s for highs Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with overnight low temperatures dropping into the mid-20s. Hopefully you didn't put that winter uh, jacket away because you may find yourself reaching for it towards the end of the work week. You won't need it for long, though. We're almost to 70 degrees by next Monday. For Butte, your 10-day forecast. Temperatures near normal tomorrow. Mostly cloudy, still windy for you Tuesday. Cold as we head into your Wednesday and Thursday. Highs will be in the mid-30s. Overnight lows, look at that, dropping into the teens. 19 degrees Friday morning. We'll be at 19 Saturday morning. Overnight low temperatures still dropping below the freezing mark this weekend, but we will see your high temperatures improving. We'll be in the mid-50s by Sunday. For Bozeman, your 10-day forecast similar. You just have a better chance uh, of showers. In fact, you've got a couple of showers today with thunderstorms. A few showers moving in Tuesday. Now, Tuesday night into your Wednesday, that's when we're going to see some of that snow accumulate. Could see one to four inches of snow on uh, roadways in southwest Montana. Now, of course, initially there will be some melting after all temperatures have been warm, but we're going to watch the those wet roadways potentially icing up Wednesday night into your Thursday, so definitely expecting some midweek travel concerns. We go from nearly 80 <laughs> to more snow. I mean, goodness. All right, I mean, it was almost 80 degrees yesterday, and now we're tracking a winter storm warning. All right, thanks so much. And do download our NBC Montana news and weather apps. You can see why when we have huge weather swings like we do in a Montana spring. All right, coming up, the quick response to two wildfires that broke out in Madison County yesterday afternoon and evening. It's coming up on 653, and boy, we are just loving the shots provided uh, by our Quetucknuck Resort and Casino live weather camera of the morning sunrise and clouds over Flathead Lake.